Hey guys, Wago, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. We got Brady the Great dropping nukes, and we got a bunch of bottling bond weeded bourbons, uh, starting with the Bardstown, the uh, Makers 101, the Wilderness Trail, and the uh, Holiday. Yeah, so the uh, Bardstown Bourbon Company origin. Uh, we did bourbon came out about a year ago now so did the wilderness trail and the uh, Ben holidays been on the uh, up and up recently so these are all uh, they're all six years except for the wilderness trails eight the makers is not bottom and bond it's 101 proof but makers has been one of our favorites for a while so I thought it'd be interesting to throw it in and see how it goes but I thought it'd be cool because the Bardstown is readily available, the Makers is, the Wilderness is like a limited edition kind of thing, and the Ben Holiday we're just now starting to see. And uh, they range from 40 to $80, so I thought it'd be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah. Well, that's a good price point as far as MSRP. You do get something a little bit more fancy, a little bit more higher proof, and also it's everyday shelfers that you can readily walk into a store and find. But I'm excited to jump in. Uh, these are blinded, and look like Brady's ready to <laughs> jump into it. So let's start from our left, your right. Last number one, I gotta make sure I put this thing up because I think the last time I accidentally saw it. A little musty. Yeah. This giving me that Makers 101 vibe. Smell a little bit like Makers to me. Sugary, vanilla. Nope. That's up. It's creamy. Yeah, it's not as spicy either. It, it, it's I like the sweetness with it from the wheat. Yeah, it's nice and uh, nice and creamy on on the tongue. Very very sweet. It's a quick finish. It doesn't. It's not yeah. long, or you just get everything on that first, like a bold taste initially, and then it just kind of mellows out. I get peppermint. Really? I know that's uh, like a yeah. peppermint like treat. Hmm. I don't know. A Yonkers. <laughs> it's a little. It's very sweet. It's just not super complex. It's a one flavor punch. Mm -hmm. That's why I mean, yeah, it's like brown sugar and like a little bit of toffee. Yeah, I like the creaminess of it though. Yeah, I like. Uh, it's got a really, really nice texture. Glass number two, I'm already on it, but I do like glass number two. I'm getting a lot of fruit on this one. Glass number one oh, yeah. comes back with a little bit of tobacco at the end, like yeah, it tries I can see hard. That. Like it's a, it's a faint like char to it. But it's trying hard to spit out like a little tobacco in this. I definitely get that fruitiness on here. It's like a, it's like a cherry. Dark though. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. So uh, it has like a silky kind of nose to it a little bit. Ooh. So initial sip on this one for me, it's more. It's a little bit sweeter than glass one but it has a little bit longer finish. So, it is, it, yes, it has a longer finish than one. This one's oily, where the first one was buttery. Mm -hmm. This one sticks to my cheeks. Mm -hmm. The other one kind of just stuck to my tongue. This one has a bitterness on the back end that I'm not a fan of. Yeah. It's almost like a <clears throat> citrus, like a lime versus a lemon type of citrus. It, uh, yeah. Feels like it's got it has something holding it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it feels like it has potential. You ever sit in a hot car with leather? <laughs> and you know how it is. <laughs> that and and smell. Up? That's what I get. That's what comes to my mind. Sweaty leather? Yeah. Ugh. There's a really it's like cardboard. Yeah. There's some, oh my gosh, it's, it's getting worse. It's like a, it's almost, it's almost a little perfumey now. Yep. 
like like you just sprayed a bunch of perfume like like a sweeter fragrance yes like, it's, um, it's like you just walked into the room after she sprayed a bunch of perfume like you can taste it on your tongue and it's like thick and like very overpowering <laughs> yes it's very unpleasant so you wouldn't call this fabulosa no <laughs> No. Last number three. Oh, and I forgot to throw a shout out there. Thank you, Ryder, for the, the Ben Holiday. And was brother Ryder got me that Ben Holiday. Good job, Ryder. Ago. Ago. We had one before. Yes, that was the, the rye. It was the bourbon with rye in it. This is the bourbon with wheat in it. Nice. Smells like Christmas morning. That's my favorite nose. I get the like, peppermint on this one. Yeah. It's almost, what is that? I almost get like. It's like a sugar cane. I almost get like a, like a Clorox kind of smell too. See, I would have said that more about this one. The glass too. The Clorox. I got it on the taste. <coughs> this one's about the same as glass one. It smells good, but it doesn't have a strong finish. This is really weird because I can't pick out what any of these three are. None of these <laughs> remind me of any of these. Yeah. This class three, I get it, it's like a candy cane. Yeah. And then I get um oh uh, like a little bit of caramel maybe. Yeah, there's something sweet on the end that I can't put my tongue to it. Oh I like closer. I'm getting it oh, citrus. That's what I was trying to go back to. I'm getting a little bit of orange and I'm getting like some Last caramel. Three. Yes. At the very front of my tongue. Tip of my tongue, I'm getting citrus and then I get that candy cane and then I get like a, a caramel. This has a nice long finish to it though. I do like yeah, the finish the on finish this. is a lot longer. All of these, that's what's, that's the trend for me with weeded bourbons is they all have good texture. But they, no long finish. But they, yes. Some, sometimes it leads to a long finish. Sometimes it doesn't. So like the first one was buttery, but lacked the finish. Yep. Two was like stuck to your to your cheeks. Had a really long finish. Unpleasant flavor. Three is like a mix of the two. It sticks to my tongue and then it kind of goes to my gums instead of my cheeks. It's yes, oily. That's all like in the front. That's what I was going to say. It's super oily. It's not buttery, but it's oily. Right. I like that one. That, that is weird. Like I've never gotten peppermint on any of these and we've set it on two. I don't, I, I very rare, rarely uh, get peppermint at all because I don't like peppermint. Like it, one of those kids that hated peppermint. <laughs> Class four might be my favorite just based off the nose. Because I thought for sure I was gonna pick out the makers. It's a smooth fragrant, yeah. fragrance type it's of thing. Like, like it's very, it's more refreshing. So it's more bearing. It doesn't smell as hot. I don't get that that ethanol that burn when you first initially get that smell. I'm not really getting anything on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no burn. You don't wet leaves. Mm. I think this one is the best out of the four of them. This one, they say the same thing where you get it like in your jawline, in your gums, but then you also get like that long finish. You get a little bit more char. This one's, it's not oily, but it's almost chewy. Yeah. Like it's thick. It has a thickness syrupy kind of thing to it. It goes in. It's almost like you get, I get the tobacco on this one a little bit, a little bit more oakiness. I'm like, not getting any of it, really. I like this one. It's a, it's a it's a hit of warmth as it goes down, you know, but it's it's gone, but <coughs> it's crazy. I, I think glass four is gonna be my winner. Followed by glass two. That's really interesting. I I, I get like this funkiness on four, which makes me think it's makers, but then it stops. So I'm not getting anything but that like weird, funky basement kind of thing. It accelerates. So and, then it, and then it goes. I went back. If you take like, once you finish it, you'll get that initial light. I'm still feeling the burn from glass four. So glass four Ooh. has the more, uh, like the best finish out of the four to Go me. Go back to one. The nose on one is fantastic, in my opinion. I felt that way about three.
We get musty armpits. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Damn. <laughs> just kidding. Right, I'm going back to three. Three was my favorite nose. Three and four are very similar to me on the nose. I, it's kind of weak, but I get that mustiness. I love glass one. I don't know. And if you made it this far in the video, guys, uh, please, if you're new, subscribe to our channel, show us some love, uh, share, comment, let us know where you're watching from if you're new to the channel. Our returning viewers, you know, we always appreciate the love. Uh, thanks for keeping us going. Uh, shout out to Turup. I got your box right here. We're going to try to schedule an unboxing and see what all the the goodies we got in here. Uh, I think Brady might like a few that's in there. Some of them are specific, specifically for Brady. Cool. I'm excited to try some new stuff. I always love trying new things. <laughs> I, I was going to make the joke. I made the joke yesterday. Hassel used to always say I'm down to try anything 10 or 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say that. <laughs> I thought no. And I said anyway. See, I went back to glass two and glass two has gotten a little... I guess it opened up like once you taste all of them. Glass two is kind of... Glass two, I love the front of it. As soon as I hit, it hits my tongue, I get like fruits, like that cherry or blueberry kind of thing we were talking about earlier. Then I get... Alright, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we did go ahead and finish our samples. Uh, so overall, I think the uh, Ben Holiday was the favorite. Yep. And uh, for each of us, for me was the uh, Bardstown. Uh, Drop It Nukes did the uh, Makers 101. And Brady's was the uh, Ben Holiday. Yep. And uh, Will and Estrell was trailing. <laughs> but for great price points, uh, either, either one of these are good. For, especially for beginners. Yeah, it was great to see the Missouri Distillery get first. I had it in first, and uh, the Bourbon Jamaican and, and Drop of Nukes had it in second. So overall, we had the Ben Holiday in first, followed by the Bardstown Bourbon Company, and then the Makers, and then the Wilderness, if you average our rankings. Um, disappointing for the Wilderness, considering it was like $85, $80, $85, and the rest of these are 45 to 60 yeah. But yeah, very cool. The, the Ben Holiday is $60, and we highly recommend it. Very good. All right. Well, again, if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed <coughs> this video. And like we said at the beginning, each of these are everyday showers. You can find them in the store, uh, depending on where you're at. I don't know how far the Ben Holiday goes or the Bardstown as far as if it goes out west coast. Oh yeah. Uh, but you can find it in the store. Makers Mark 101 is everywhere. Also, I think Willard Trail, they do do a little bit of a location, based on location. So you have different ones. I have one back here, was probably from what, 20, 2022? Yeah, the wilderness will be the hardest one to find out of the four. Yeah. All right, and it's the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't feel bad. You ain't missing out. <laughs> Well, I hope y'all enjoy this, man. Peace out. Thanks. Bye.